sacred geometry can be even reflected in these beautiful leaves. As you can see here, from the center, like sacred geometry, there's always a center that gives birth to all these beautiful lines. Because this uh, follows the fundamentals of sacred geometry where you start with a center and then from there you branch out and then you have different routes and different dimensions and different realities and different possibilities and different outcomes and different choices so you're this and these are your choices it's your life it's your representation of your life so it's all there as above so below you learn from nature you learn from everything around you and sacred geometry is one of the best tools and it's everywhere everywhere around you Look at these beautiful plants. They actually reflect sacred geometry. Um, these are so intricate and so ambiguous. I have never seen such plants before. They're coming directly. The stem is coming directly from water. And if you can see, they're almost, they almost, they almost form pentagons or hexagons. As you can see here, one, two, one two three four five so they're like pentagons one two three four five and uh wow this is fascinating i've never seen something like this before this one is beautiful too i think this eventually becomes this and then this one gives flowers i think each one of them is a flower but it's beautiful the sacred geometry shape that it gives it's all around us in nature it's so beautiful.